So what happens when our velocity is zero? Well, this is the case where we drop the treat straight onto the floor. But what about when we throw the treat at an angle? Well, we know that our horizontal and vertical axes are independent. So in the vertical direction, it doesn't matter what is happening in the horizontal direction because it won't affect our vertical motion. So am I saying that we already have the equations for our vertical motion? Exactly, so if we label our vertical direction our y-axis and relabel our variables, then we have the equations of motion in the vertical direction. However, if we want to understand our object's motion, then we still need the equations for our horizontal direction. We'll label this our x-axis. As we've discussed, there are no horizontal forces. Therefore, we immediately know that our horizontal acceleration is zero. And if our velocity isn't changing because our acceleration is zero, then the only possible velocity in the horizontal direction is our initial velocity. And this has no dependence on time. So our horizontal displacement is just equal to our initial velocity times time, plus any initial horizontal displacement. As previously, if we're finding displacement from an initial position of zero, then this term will be zero, and our horizontal displacement will just be equal to the initial horizontal velocity times time. We now have all the equations that fully describe projectile motion.